And Ruby Rose joins us live now with founder of Urban Decay, Wendy Zomna. Lovely to see you guys. Hey guys. Thanks. Thank Hi. you for joining us. Now, Ruby, you are known, as we mentioned, for your incredible style. What was it that drew you to Wendy and, and her brand? Am I really known for my style? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I, was gonna, I thought you were going to say, like, really, really good looking. But uh, I'm just kidding. That goes without saying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely kidding. Uh, what drew me to Urban Decay? I guess at the time I'd had a, a little bit of success and a lot of different makeup companies were approaching me but Urban Decay was the only one that was completely uh, animal you know animal cruelty free they have vegan ranges they had amazing colors they have fantastic products and I only took a meeting with Wendy I only took a meeting with Urban and I declined the rest so we have the same spiritual principles I love it in LA how you take a meeting you don't right. go to a meeting, you go, I take a meeting. meeting. No, did I say that? <laughs> My mum's going to be like, you've changed. <laughs> uh, uh, Wendy, what was it? We, we know what we love about Ruby, which is everything from top to bottom. But what, what's, what caught your eye about Ruby? Well, I started this brand back in 1996, and we always said it was about makeup for boys, girls, men, women who wanted to show the world who they are. Mm. And I felt like Ruby embodied that so much. She's really, that first film she made, showing the world who she was, I think she stands for beauty, equality, toughness, um, and really about <laughs> showing the world who you are. So, Absolutely. And that's what we love. Like, you know, Ruby, it's, we love, I guess, that about you, that you embrace your individuality. And Do you think society is becoming more, I guess, accepting of that? Oh, absolutely. I think there's been an, an enormous shift in the past five years and ten years, and we still have a long way to go. But I think that it's, it's brands like Urban Decay, it's you know in cinema, it's it's in media, it's everywhere embracing one another, and as individuals embracing one another, that's making a huge difference. Okay, uh, we've got to talk career. Uh, we've got to talk Pitch Perfect Three. The trailer's <laughs> yeah. just been released. You and Rebel Wilson, a couple of Aussie girls hooping it up over there. Oh, we had so much. I mean, as you can imagine, of course, Rebel Wilson is incredibly funny, but to work with, she's a very giving actor. And it's, it was really fun, and I, I just I love that girl to bits. She's so fantastic. Yeah. She is so funny, isn't she? We, we heard a rumour that you're maybe going to take a little break from, from Hollywood and films. Is that true? <laughs> Tell us it's not true. I, I literally was we just, talking just talking about, about the, the funniest stories that I've you know, heard about myself. It was something like I, you know, went to the States and, and got a little bit of, you know, some work and then saw the schedule and went, that sounds like a lot. I might just go back home now. Um, that's not true. Yeah. Oh, I, I love Australia. My mum is here. Hi, mum. Uh, and I love visiting when I can. But, you know, I, I worked so hard to get to where I am that I don't plan on stopping yeah. anytime soon. I just love it. Hey, Wendy, what do you like to work with? Because we know, you know, on the big screen and on the small screen and all those characters. But uh, what do we need to know about it off, away from what, the set? Yeah, what I love working um, about what I love about working with Ruby is that she's a creative collaborator I think we've had some amazing shoots mm -hmm. and she called me once and she's like I'm bringing my couch to the shoot yeah and I love that she's <laughs> always thinking two steps ahead and adding to the creative mix and I think it helps when your sorry, spokesperson sorry, is sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 So I felt like the couch was a bit uncomfortable and so I was no I'm just kidding we, <laughs> so, I wanted to paint the couch in the shoot so she just arrived in the limo and got out and got her couch out of the back. She brought her couch. How and do you bring a couch? I was more in like Hang a U-Haul than a limo. <laughs> but, but it was for our shoot with um, Basquiat. We did a collection with Jean-Michel Basquiat and obviously Ruby's a big fan. Right. Mm -hmm. And so she was the model for that shoot and she really had a vision what for what it needed to be. And I think all we the painted videos the we've couch. done, we painted the couch. Painted me. It's been a collaboration with her and yeah. not just like, oh, we pay you to be our spokesperson, smile, look pretty. She works her tail off. And she comes with these great, amazing ideas, and it makes it so much more fun like that. See, we've got a lot in common because Sarah turns up with this couch every morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. she ta don't you? Just to bring, get yeah, it out of the couch. My truck, my semi trailer <laughs> that I have You're at home. Old. I can just see you cruising down the highway <laughs> with the semi. Got this couch in the back. back. Yeah. <laughs> but Australians are, they have such a good reputation, don't they, for having an incredible work ethic? Yes. I mean, I've heard that before, but Ruby really embodies it. Mm -hmm. Like, she's never, she always goes long on the shoots. And always wants to do that extra shot. It's never like, oh, we got to stop now. She's always finding a way to get that extra shot in. And um, is that important to you as you move through some of these massive pro uh, projects that you you have a creative <laughs> say in it? Because I guess people are throwing scripts at you all the time, ideas at you all the time. Um, is moving forward with those on the condition that 
I, you know, I can do a little bit of this or I can talk to you about how that character evolves. Yeah, I, I've been really lucky that I've had a lot of say in, in developing the characters that I've played and sort of saying this doesn't quite feel right or this feels right or, you know, ad-libbing. In Triple X in the, the preview uh, in the trailer, everything was an ad-lib. Uh, Tony Collette was also ad-libbing and we had a lot of tension in our scenes and we were like really wanting to win those battles and she won every single time. Yeah. But, you know, uh, it is important because once you start to get a handle on what kind of scripts you want to do and how to really embody the character, you yeah. have to kind of know what the character wouldn't wouldn't do and sometimes you do know better and sometimes you don't. Yeah. What's your ideal role? What, what is sort of that one project that you'd really love to do that you haven't done yet? There's not, I mean, there's a lot that I haven't done that I can't wait to do, but there's not one particular role that I, you know, this sort of be all and end all. It's just this array of, I would like to delve more into sort of something darker and grittier and, you know, something w with a little bit more sort of hard acting and, and sort of having to go to that dark place, which, you know, with pitch was really fun and with action is, is really tough. And, you know, I, I haven't had the vulnerable uh, roles yet that I, you know, I'm currently sort of working on anyway, so. Okay. Every time I see a picture of you on a couch now, I'm just going to think of that. <laughs> you turning up with your own couch.